Coach, we'll start on the left, second row. Anthony Chang, Miami Herald. I suppose you always talk about the competitive will of this team. Was that on display tonight? I know it was a loss, obviously, but just with not many shots went in and still was a grind and it was still was kind of a possession game there down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, our, our guys uh, will be able to take that quality the rest of their careers. Uh, that uh, grit, the perseverance, the toughness, uh, the ability to, to compete and put yourself out there for everybody to judge um, and to be able to handle you know, different things, uh, adversity, all, all that. Um, but, you know, I'll speak for everybody in our locker room and, and the organization. Uh, you know, congratulations to uh, the Denver Nuggets organization. Um, you know, they're, they're a class act, and they're one hell of a basketball team. One hell of a basketball team. Um, and we couldn't really find... Uh, Obviously, enough solutions to be able to get us over over the top. Left side, uh, first row. What's up? So, West Lamy, WorldWideWest.com. Spo, just that final two minutes, like you were mentioning just there, what stood out to you in terms of you guys kind of holding them, but just the shots weren't falling in any way? I don't know. It, it, you know, those last three or four minutes felt like a, a scene out of a movie. Two teams uh, in the center of the ring throwing haymaker after haymaker, and it's not necessarily shot making, it was the efforts. Guys were staggering uh, around um, because both teams were playing and competing so hard. You know, that's, that's what this league should be about. Um, you know, there's, there's no regrets <clears throat> on our end. Um, you know, there, there's just some times where you get beat. You know, and and Denver was the better basketball team uh, in this series. Uh, that, that's about as hard. I, I don't know how long it'll take me to go through, you know, the autopsy of this final game, but I, I would say that will probably rank as our hardest competitive, most active um, defensive game of, of the season, uh, and it still fell short. Um, and then our, probably our second uh, highest rated game would have been game four and we fell short by double digits so that just gives you an indication of how good this Denver Nuggets team uh, you know was in this series but also throughout the course of the season and uh, all of the playoffs um, they were the superior team in every series and they deserve uh, this championship back row in the middle Robert Latow, BSO. Could you just speak about the entire journey of this uh, playoffs from, you know, almost not making it in through the play-in the play -in game, uh, being an eight seed, going all the way through the finals? What does that say about your team, you as a coach, and what lessons do you think just regular people can take from you guys' journey uh, from where you started to where you're at right now? Yeah, we would have liked to have been able to climb the mountaintop to be able to get that final win. Um, but I think this is a team that uh, a lot of people can relate to. If you've ever felt that you were dismissed or felt that you were made to feel less than. Um, we had a lot of people in, in our locker room that probably have had that, and there's probably a lot of people out there you know, that have felt that at some time uh, or another. Um, but also the way this team handled setbacks and adversity, um, you know, to develop a collective grit and perseverance. Uh, I mentioned this before, that hopefully these are lessons that will transcend this beautiful game, that hopefully these are lessons that we can pass along to our children, that even though it is sport, that you can learn, you know, lessons of life from, from this game and um, that you can persevere, um, you can handle uh, what people may view as many failures along the way um, and become stronger from it uh, and to be able to overcome things and find beautiful things on the other side of that. Uh, now, obviously, we didn't get the, the final win, uh, but sometimes, uh, you know, that's, that's true in sport and also in life, uh, that you don't always get what you want. Um, but there's no regrets from our side. We, everybody staff, 
player alike in the locker room put themselves out there and put themselves into the team, whatever was best for the team. Uh, and the tough pill to swallow is it just wasn't good enough. We ran it up against a team um, that was just better than us in this series. Um, and uh, and you, have to, you have to tip your hat to them. They, that, that I said it, but they're one hell of a basketball team. Uh, they play the right way. They compete. They're well coached, um, and they have a strong culture. Um, so, for this season, they uh, they deserve this. We'll take two more questions. Left side. Thank you, Tip Pro. Tip with Nick Friedel, ESPN. To follow up on what you touched on, what was the message that you just imparted to the? A little bit of of that. You know, sometimes it's just not your time. You know, some of the message. Uh, that I gave the team is is an intimate message just for the group. Uh, but what I can tell you, uh, we're all hardwired to, to compete for the ultimate prize. Um, but you also want to develop lifelong memories uh, and a brotherhood uh, and um, you know a bond that you'll be able to carry on from years from now, that we've been able to go through something that's memorable. Um, you know, I told each one of the guys I love them. I, I love this team. Uh, and I'm just super grateful that we're able to go through all of the experiences, even the, the tough times during the year, to be able to have a season like this. This is one uh, for the journal books, right? <laughs> you know, that we're, I don't know uh, about all the guys, uh, you know, journaling, but this is certainly, you know, one that. I'll journal and and uh, and remember this team, you know, forever. And uh, years from now, we'll bump into some of these guys, and we'll have this bond, uh, even though we didn't get that final prize. Last question, second row, left side. Were you were you close to playing Tyler today, or was it a matter of just him being available, kind of in this moment? In this, it's just a really tough call, and I'll probably have to wrestle with that all all summer. You know. Um, it, I've never been in, a, in an experience like this. I just know that the way this game was played is totally different than – you can't even compare it. It's another sport in the regular season. But first round, this is totally different, the way this game was played. Second round, totally different. Yeah, the uh, Even the conference finals, the physicality um, and what they let – play and I think they should have you know this is what what it should be about is, is let the players decide uh, but that's the hardest played most physical uh, you know competition you can have and that would be a tough thing you know for a guy that's been out for two months that hasn't had any kind of ramp up but that won't save me from you know thinking about that for the next uh, few weeks all thank right you. thank you coach. appreciate all of you sticking around all right and uh, we'll see you uh, down the road Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.